I've got a foil covered card and I've just drawn a little template that I'm going to cut out and I've used the foil covered card I mean I suppose a plasticky card would do anything that's going to exist as a template for longer you know because I mean if I just use paper it's going to deteriorate too quickly because I want to be able to use this oh dear I've missed it <laughs> I have to use this bit instead so let's try and take, let's take it out there so that comes out it's going to be left behind isn't it yes yeah, so I actually want that circle to remain in there don't I so get rid of that I'm just keeping, I've gone and cut over, around a bridge, doesn't matter, because I just make a couple of bridges to that circle, so the interior circle stays. And I'm using the foil covered card, because I want it to have some longevity, you know, not just deteriorate too quickly as I use it. Oh, I've got it there. And I could do a few of these, and let's see what I end up with. So that's quite useful as well. And these pieces are quite useful, so don't get rid of anything. But there you go, you see? So I'm going to use it on my gel plate, and then I'm going to print it onto abstracts. And I want a few of these. I love the way abstracts um, just allow you to play with these beautiful shapes, you know, and also to sort of go with how your hand moves. And It's almost like a conversation, but it's got no words. Oh, I just love it. I don't like that bit there, so I'm just going to take that off. And you end up with something like this. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then of course the, the bits as well are lovely. I'm going to do another one though. And all I want is this sort of plastic finish so that it's reusable, you know. It just keeps going. I if I just want that circle out. Maybe may as well just go for another one so I can use the two of them. You obviously get a better sort of circular shape if you rotate the actual piece of paper rather than the rather than your hand. And then I've got those as well and I'm going to make more of this. I think I might even do a bit of... Because I don't have to use it, take something out there too. Um, I'll just think about this a bit because otherwise I'll get it wrong. So I just run it out and then get some internal bits through there. But this is really nice for a template. I hope it works. I mean, you could go a lot more detail than this, but I don't want it. I want these because I've already got the detail on my abstracts. So these are sort of firm, lovely shapes, you know, strong. But I'm going to add lots of colour to them. So they're going to contain a complexity in colour and have a lovely strength of form. Okay, so I've got loads of nice bits to use on my gel plate. I have these lovely pieces of paper that I'd made before, so I've just got some gorgeous mark making on there. And I'm just sketching with this just to see how I can develop it. I mean, I really like the way that the paint's mixed into each other and the way it has these lovely comments and intricacies of its own accord before I even start. But I'm not too worried about it either. I'm going to go over it and play with it. So what I'm after is a template that you can ink up and then continue to add designs to it with drawing and then take the template off and be able to reuse it and then print from it. So let's see what happens. So you get these lovely marks that can make really lovely interesting abstracts. So that's just the start, isn't it? So I've done a series of templates and I think it'd be interesting just to see what would happen if you continue to print over this and then obviously draw on it as well. I mean, there's even things like this. In any case, it's just experimenting, see what happens. 
but it's this translucent quality um, and also mark making that will be unusual let's try it because I think if you put that on top of that it would work or that way around maybe so we'll have a go with that so put another color on top of that I might just try black so get my plate again wash that off because I don't want that green I've got some newsprint but I can't get off this if anyone has any suggestions, please let me know. Another look at these palettes. And get my black. So I've, I went for a fairly strange mix of colours because I had them already on my plate. And I don't really care, you know, I'm more, much more after strange marks than anything. So put this down. If I put that down that way up, presumably I can just wash off this plate. And the whole idea is to get something very translucent on. Oops, a daisy. Just clean that off. I'm not too bothered about what it looks like. Actually, I do want some marks in there as well, so I'm just going to put some further marks in. That will do. Get my image, put it down, and then place this on top how I want it. Slightly off. And rub it down. lift it. Yay. And you get something like so. So again, it's just seeing what happens really. I do quite like that. I'm just going to see what the second print comes out like. I'm just, you know, experimenting really, as per usual. Because it's the second... Oh yeah, that's really nice as well. Look how lovely that is some of the green in it so I really like that okay so very usable and that's just the start of this process enjoy experimenting with it I'm gonna have another go I do like you know the image the colors coming underneath it I think that's really important and I'm sure you could print this on a canvas yeah I mean I think what I like is the combination of the dirty print onto other mark making on the page I'm just going to try, seeing as I've got these colours here, just throw it right over to the edges. And I don't mind that it's blodgy, in fact I like that. I'm going to add a bit more colour into that actually, just for interest's sake. Right, now let's try that one. Oh, I'm going to take this off first, haven't I? And again, I think I'm just going to try and see. I want it there. I bet there's just two really beautiful little prints as well. Oh yeah, you see that's lovely. It's really odd. It's so strange with the stuff underneath it. And also like, I am no purist as you know. I'm just going to take that edge off a bit. Yeah, that's better. And same with the one underneath. I just want to bring... Oh, wow, that's lovely. What do you think of that? And then you could even get your pen and draw into that. That doesn't really mark. I think you could keep going and going with those. It's such a strange little image. One more on there. Shall we see what that, what that does? Clean that up a bit and then just try another one. So I've got this one. Oh, my goodness me. Gosh, this is fun. <laughs> right, let's try that way. Nope, it's got to be a repeat. Okay. It's just weird and wonderful. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay, try again. So I want a very translucent blue on there now. So I'm going to put hardly any pigment on it. But I want it. There we go. 
Okay, something that's not, not very translucent, but I quite like that. Okay, so I want that on parts of here, but not all of it. Okay, like so. And that's just rubbing my hand across it. And you're just using the, the lovely mark making that it does. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, so I'll leave it at that and then go on and get something else on there. So let that dry for a bit. So I liked that. So I'm just going to try and get the same on the corner of this. This is just all fermentation again. And it's just to see what happens. Take that over a bit more. You know, using it like a painterly thing. Because, simply because I like those colours. how you build it up and build it up. You see that's already sort of used and that's got some, a lovely used thing on it in any case. I'm just going to get that on there. And even that. You know, there's so much potential in this. I like the mixture when it's all on there. I'm just going to see if I can get some orange on there as well. Right. I don't have enough rollers either. Oh, I might just use my little wooden rollers here. Again, I'm just going to take bits of it that I like. Yeah, and you could even sort of turn around and say, that I've lost a piece there, so I just want that off. And I think it's going to take a while to dry then. But I want that, that, there you go. I want that coming through a bit more. Still with those lovely colours. Just to see what happens, isn't it? Bring the plate back again. The plate's absolutely beautiful as is. Okay, I'm now going to take a bit off that. Absolutely lovely. Off the side there as well. Okay, I'm going to leave that. Keep going. This one's a lovely one. The only thing is that that isn't translucent enough. So look, if I, I wonder if I, just for fun, if I just put these lovely things on it, because I've got quite a few of them. And because they were all taken from the same sorts of designs, you get these strange things that sort of somehow go together. Do you know what I mean? I really like that, so I can't just mess it. Oh, that's not very nice. That's a shame. That's better. I'm just going to touch that over. Okay, so let's just try. And now the second print. So from a series of templates, which are reusable because they're sturdy, dead easy to make because they're dead easy to cut with the scalpel blade, can be stored dead easily, and some little wooden lettering that I've got from the internet, and of course the jelly plates and some acrylics, you get to make a whole lot of um, mark making, strange mark making and abstracts. And of course, I, 
I can take this further. Where's the one with the lettering? There's the one with the lettering. And also a little bit of circles that I've marked in. But you can completely go over this yet. You could add white, then use different mark making on top of that. But it's these lovely stencils that make these strange marks, which I really like. I think I would also develop a few more stencils. I'd like some more other marks, even if it was sort of something like this on there. But the video's long enough. I'm going to leave it as is. I might do another one that takes these a bit further. But for now, it was using these lovely stencils that you make out of uh, foil-covered card or plastic card. So useful.